Good morning guys. It's like quarter to six and I'm the only one here at the chapel so far. To go get the whiteboards. Which I can only see one of. Mm -hmm. And like underneath with all the soil, mm -hmm. so we can talk about like our two personalities. Mm -hmm. The people like they all plant nice and green in church. Mm -hmm. When you go to school, they all switch up and you get gray. Yep. You start using the wrong language. Yep. Does it have to be long? Our explanation? No. Like it could be like one minute. What have you guys planned so far? So when you go to a library, you're looking for something. Mm -hmm. So like when you're not sexually pure and you're like being in the world, you're looking for something. Yeah. Like if people get it. Yeah. But if you're, but if you are sexually pure, then you'll be able to have the full compassion of the spirit and be able to choose the right, the right one from the library. That's good. Yeah. That's really good. Okay. <gasps> oh! Do All right, okay, now? guys. Do you yes, I think, of course I do. Okay. So, so our it. one was friends. Yeah. And the chairs. Yeah. Okay, read it. Which one? The first part. Everyone read. No, the first part. Go yeah. on. Um, to have good friends, <clears throat> be a good friend. Show them genuine interest in others. Smile and let them know that you care about them. Treat everyone with kindness and respect, and refrain from judging and criticizing those around you. Do not participate in any form of bullying. Make a special effort to be a friend to those who are shy or lonely, have special needs, or do not feel included. Um, from the do not participate in any form of bullying and stuff, that's the same as like gossiping and like if your friends are like talking about unholy stuff and like inappropriate stuff, mm -hmm. you then you can just distance yourself and take, take a seat. seat somewhere else. Just don't. That's don't really good. Include yourself there. What we got was media mm -hmm. and. Um, my thoughts is like social media, mm -hmm. like they can distract us from, um, like they can pull us away from our families. They have like websites on there that like, they're good. Like what? No, <laughs> <laughs> like what, Lorenzo? Did oh. you go for your history lesson? No, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> and um, yeah, they can distract us. From many things and yeah. Yeah. Alright. Um <clears throat> dating, if you end up dating, it's a commitment and just like basketball, it's also a commitment. And, and, yeah. and if a young woman and a young man yeah. are responsible yeah. for to protect each other's virtue and honor. So in basketball, if someone does a layup, just be a rim protector, just block it. Yeah. yeah. That's good. And then when you get the shot in, what happens? You win the game. Yep. And what? It's like you win the game. No. Yeah. No, that's true. <laughs> you win the right one, right? When you when you when you make the right choices, and you take the shot, right? And sometimes you just have to take a shot to make a choice. Yeah. And if you don't take a shot, then you're gonna lose the game, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So you can even say that, you know, if you're too late, if you delay yourself too much, and you wait for other what's, you know, you wait for the opportunity to pass by. When you don't take the shot, you lose the game. If you don't take a shot on the girl, you lose the girl. It's just the yeah. same thing. Guys, teach me. What's your one about? Modesty. Modesty. Yeah. Society. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, so. Um, we came up with curtains. Like, because if it's open, um, everyone can see. But if it's closed like that one, no one can see. You can see what? can see what? Inside. Like. So like, because like your body's in temple, there's things that you shouldn't show, like your legs or your shoulders. And um, yeah, when people, oh, when the curtains are open, that just represents like when people dress to show off themselves. 
Yeah. Like, oh, like, for me, a good example is formal. Yeah. So, like, yeah, formal, um, the girls come dressed in dresses that it's basically a cloth that only covers <laughs> half of it. Yep. So, okay, that's good. Honestly, really good use of the credits and stuff like that. I want you guys to be honest with the girls, right? Tell them what you guys like and what you guys don't like. Use a voice. You can say, you know, or you could say, guys, do you like it? Who likes it when a girl wears a short skirt to um, to church? Do you think anyone does? I don't think anyone does, just be honest. Who likes it when um, a girl's like beautifully dressed, modest, classy looking, you know, looking good, you know? There's a higher chance of you checking. You can say, you know, girls just letting you know. Um, you, there's a higher chance of a guy checking you out if you are dressed up modestly. You have to be honest. He's a youth, right? Have the real discussions. Don't beat around the bush and just try and make it like. But use that. You can say it's like, like here. If you open yourself to everything, you keep the curtains open, right? Everyone can see everything. Everyone can see you. Everyone can see, you know, the things that you don't want them to see. Whereas if you keep it closed, so we'll bring everyone here to the really study room and then you teach us. Morning everyone. So I like drove to work by myself. It was such a lonely drive. Not really. It was nice. It was fun. Um, singing to myself and everything. Um, but Dana had to go with Ginga because Ginga is doing a hospitality course because she could be working for this hotel. And I think it'd be good for her. She's good at talking to people and she's good at talking too much. So it'll be perfect. I don't want her to stay in the factory all the time, you know? She was born to do great things. So yeah, that's where Dana's gone. Um, we had a really cool experience today. I dropped off one of my seminary students and um, I didn't want to record it because you know how there's just some things that you just have to um, keep private. So I didn't want to record it and this man's gonna be like, it was weird. We're just getting something quick to eat because I was dropping her off home. And then she saw this homeless person and she was like, like, like she felt like she wanted to do something. She wanted to help. And like, if you know this girl, she loves her food. And we've just finished getting our food. She loves it, but she didn't even think twice. Like she was just like, we need to give him food. Like, you know, like she wasn't like, um maybe we'll give him food next time and that was so like awesome for me to see as a teacher because we're teaching that every day and then sometimes you think are they gonna apply it or would they apply it and to know that she did that without even me saying what are we gonna do about it it was special and i loved it so it was such a good start to the morning sorry we couldn't take you on that journey but there are a lot of things that um, we think we should keep kind of personal um, but we just wanted to let you know what happened all right but yeah hope you have an amazing day like i have started already and it's on my way up to work exciting hey guys it's monday morning or after evening and we are doing family home evening and we're doing boys versus girls so when they don't want to go home yet from daycare, we tell them to do things. So one is they're going to do a tell a night. Good girl, Ronnie, dance. Go, Ronnie. Go, Ronnie. Go, girls. Let's go see what the boys are doing now. A few more minutes. Alright guys, this is what we do on Monday nights. We have family home evening and what that is is dedicated to the family. Alright children, show me what you got. Oh, we got a 
what do I this guy? Pull us up, Mabel. I really know. Oh, this sucks. Shh. Oh. As long as you just get ah. hard out. Let's do Come on, children. That's hot out. Give me the spinners. Good. Give me it. Bloody spinners. The big white one's mine. Hey. I don't care, boy. I don't care. Remember the river? Remember that? And then you hop. And then hop. I love you. Thank you. 